Hi, I'm Peter Brecken, head chef at Horticulture Newcastle. Uh, thank you very much for joining us for our first Hordy at Home. I'm here to do an instructional video of how to cook your meal for you and your loved ones. Uh, so the first thing you'll do is you'll get your, your bag. Uh, we're doing the vegetarian one here. Uh, the vegetarian and vegan are the same, but uh, the only difference is we've, missed, we've left the butter out of the cauliflower dish. So in an open bag, the first thing you'll see is uh, some lovely homemade sourdough flatbreads and uh, our hummus there. You'll see a few little pots which will run through in a minute. So these are all just the different garnishes and stuff like that that go with the dishes. Um, we've got the, the haughty, uh, horticulture dressing. We have, then you have one tin. Uh, this one is the marinated carrots and the bottom of the bag of one cardboard box like this. So I'm just going to unwrap all of this stuff, get it all ready so that uh, it makes it as easy to cook as possible. Uh, it's how we work in the, in the kitchen and the restaurant. Uh, being set up properly is how it makes it much easier to cook for meal yourself. So we'll open up the box. So in here, you've got two courgettes. And as you can see, everything's got numbers on. So they all go together, which makes it really, really simple. So 6.0 and 6.1 is the courgette and the couscous, which is the same dish. You've got your bean goulash, which is 4.0. And your hummus. The sweet potato curry. And our cauliflower steak. So that is everything there for the meal. We're gonna just unwrap a couple of the things. We're gonna put some of the things into some pans and bake it so that we're just putting it on and making it really easy to cook. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up the tin. And inside there'll be a, a bag of carrots. These have already been partially cooked by ourselves. So it's just a case of finishing them off. Just cut the bag open. Pop the carrots into the tray, that's ready for later on. You need to get as much of the juice out as you can as well, you don't want to waste any of that flavour. Just go grab the pin one second. So it's always useful to have a little container set up to get rid of all your rubbish there. So that's the carrot ready to go here. You can also get yourself uh, two pretty small frying pans. Sorry, on, the, uh, on this one it's just the one. One frying pan and the two little sauce pans ready to go. What we can do now is uh, we can actually open up the goulash and pop it into one of the small sauce pans. that over ready to heat up over there and um, we'll do the same thing with the curry as well so you've got the curry which is uh, Mr. Wolf Spices water and curry powder we use as a spice mix uh, it's a lovely guy called Hamish who's from Newcastle who is based in Newcastle and makes a really amazing spice blends that we use quite a lot in our kitchen Again, just make sure you get as much of that out as possible. So, we'll stick that over by the cooker, ready to go as well. Um, we're also going to stick the oven on 180 degrees. Mine's already turned on. Uh, I've got one tray. I've got one tray in the oven, and that's going to be used in a minute. So, then what you'll see is. On these tubs, they're all labelled up, so I want you to put them into piles, uh, the same number. So two, 
3.1 will go first, 3.1 will go second, 4.1, 5.1, 5.2, and 7.1. I actually need to grab one of these. And let's go. So then we're going to open up the body dressing. Just any bowls fine for this, uh, just so that we can dress the plates later on. So open that up. Pour that in there. Then we need a microwave or bowl for the couscous. Give it a little squish in the pack a little bit, break it up a bit. And pop it into a bowl that's safe to go in the microwave. I'm going to give it just a splash of oil and a little splash of water. Then we'll give it a little mix around. Go back to the sides, I'll try to just go later on as well. Unwrap the courgettes. So these are uh, courgettes that have been stuffed with uh, breadcrumbs, courgette, sunflower seeds and tartar seasoning. Pop them there. And then finally we're going to open up the cauliflower. Again, just slip the bag. Pop this onto J cloth, bit of kitchen roll, whatever it is. You just want to try and soak up any of the moisture that's in the bag there. Because you don't want that because it'll splash a little burning. So there we have it. If you are at this stage now, uh, brilliant. If not, just hit pause on the video and you'll uh, get yourself to this stage where you're ready to cook, and then we can uh, cook together. So uh, if you're all set up now, we'll start cooking. The, uh, the first thing to do is we're going to actually play the hummus up, get it out of the way, get it uh, so that's all ready to go. Just snip the tip off your bag, get your hummus in, and go into a little bowl like this. Do it into the middle, then just move it around the edges like that. So I'm just going to give it a few taps on the bottom, help it settle nicely. Then we're going to uh, put a spoonful of the Audi dressing on the top of it. And then if you look at it for your pot, which says 2.1 on the top, so that is your crispy chickpeas, which goes onto the top like that. And we'll pop that onto the plate with some flatbreads. You can cut them up, you can leave them whole, you can heat them up, you can do what you want with them. I personally like them uh, like cold, and uh, just uh, we just tear at them, me and my girlfriend, when we're doing this sort of thing. So that's the... Uh, that's the hummus ready to go there, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the courgettes in the oven. So um, when I was setting up and I switched my oven on, I put an oven tray in, ready for them to go in. So place those in carefully. Try and make sure that they don't fall over if possible. Um, and 
probably not going to cook these for around about 10 minutes. Um, but the timing of everything else will help us get it right anyway. And uh, we've got our curry and our goulash, which we set up earlier on. Um, in kitchens, we always have a, a water next to where we cook, because as you're heating things in the water, water's evaporating. If it dries out, then a little bit of water in it always stops it from uh, splitting out or burning and stuff like that. So we'll pop these onto the lowest heat we can. And what we'll do is just try and get a little bit of heat into them for now. We're not. Really we're going to uh, be as gentle as we can. It's just so that we're not starting from cold later on. Give it a good stir around. Okay, uh, we've got to keep checking these as well every so often. Make sure they don't boil dry or anything like that. So while they're working, come to our neck. So we've got it draining, it's nice and dry, so it's not gonna spit on you too much. A uh, little bit of table salt on both sides, because there's uh, been no salt added to this yet, so it's really important to get the salt on now. Uh, it's been confit in brown butter, except for the vegan version, which has been, uh, we used uh, vegetable spread instead. So we're gonna go into it with a, a cold pan, and we're gonna put it onto medium, medium high heat. No oil in there at all. And what should happen is the brown butter or the margarine should come out of the cauliflower and it should actually fry in that. It's always just fill that bit, that'll flip it, sort of thing. Now obviously you're just checking all the time while you've got your over here, give you your curry and goulash a little stir. It's starting to heat up a little bit. You hear the, the butter starting to melt out of there now. Um, what we're going to do with this is we're just going to colour up one side of it, flip it over, and then we're going to put it into the oven with the uh, courgettes that are already in there. Um, we're quite lucky here because we've got um, we've got these skillets which we can go straight into the oven with, which is what we would normally do with this. If you've got skillets, do that. But obviously, not everyone has skillets at home, so uh, that's why we've got the oven tray into the thing. This is a skillet. <laughs> so if you coming out, you can see the the butter is starting to come out of the cauliflower, and it'll be all coloured out nicely. So just keep looking at it. You want this nice golden brown colour over as much of it as you can. Press it down. Have a look at it again. Getting close. So we're not trying to heat it all the way through here, we're just trying to get that nice caramelisation colour on it. Uh, that caramelization makes it taste a lot better, it gives it a much fuller flavour. There you go, you're starting to get close to what we're looking for there. Just push it down in the middle. There we go, so we'll flip that. Move the pan off the heat. And we're going to go into the oven. Pop it into the same tray that the uh, that the courgette's in. So we're looking at about another five minutes for the cauliflower and the courgette. You can see the curries and the the curry and the goulash just starting to bubble away there, getting a nice bit of gentle heat. Now that the curries and the goulash is nicely hot. Want to just pull it off the heat there to say we don't want to overcook it, we don't want to cook it away. And we'll flash that warm in a minute. Uh, then you want to, after five minutes is up, you want to pull the cauliflower and the courgette out of the oven. So we're 
So this should be really, really nice and hot now. We'll pop that down over there. And we're going to put the carrots in. Now, I mean, I do have a really, really good oven. It's uh, full of rationale. So you may find the timings are a little bit different in your oven, your temperature. You guys know your ovens better than I do. Um, I see I've left quite a, a bit of space between some things. So it's a little bit longer, a little bit shorter than you'll be able to judge that. So next we're just gonna put these carrots into the oven. Nice splash of oil onto there and a good pinch of salt. Right into the oven. And again, uh, you're probably looking at uh, five minutes, something like that. Uh, in my oven, it's probably a bit shorter, three minutes. Um, so while they're in the oven there, we're going to uh, start looking at getting the garnishes ready for the plates so that we can start to plate up. And the whole idea is that we're aiming to bring all the plates ready at the same time so that you can, so that the person who's cooking doesn't have to run around the kitchen and get uh, the next dish ready while everyone else is sitting down enjoying themselves. So we've already got the couscous into a microwave little safe dish. Um, we're also going to pop into the microwave the rice and the cod which is sorry the rice which is 5.1 and the cauliflower puree which is 3.1 so the carrots been in the oven now for five minutes uh, we're going to drop the temperature down in the oven because uh, we want now to uh, we want it to just maintain temperature and stuff uh, while we're getting stuff ready to plate then we're going to drop it down to 120 degrees uh, some ovens you may switch them off and they'll hold the temperature and we're going to pop back in the courgette and the cauliflower. So we've got in the oven now the courgette, the cauliflower and the carrots all ready to go. Nice low temperature, just holding hot. Uh, so now we're going to uh, lay out our plates that we're going to use. So our three plates, we have two bowls. So as I said before, uh, I don't have a microwave, I'm sorry about that, but uh, we're gonna microwave the couscous for a minute or two. Then, then uh, we're going to microwave, once that's ready, we'll microwave the rice and the cauliflower puree together. Depending on the microwave, you're looking between about a minute, a minute and a half. You may want to put a little splash of water in with the rice if it's looking a little bit dry. So next one, stay hot. So you've got your couscous hot. So you want to put your, uh, your couscous uh, taster first of all. Check it for seasoning for yourself. Is it is it salty enough? Do it taste good? Then we're going to put the couscous onto a plate. Remember yours will be nice and hot and steaming. Spread it around the plate nicely like that. Nice bright colours. Then our warm cauliflower puree onto the next plate. You get all of it together like that, the center plate, and just use the back of your spoon. And just move it around like this. A nice uh, spread it, nice and even all over it. And then you uh, make sure you pop your curry and your uh, lash onto a nice high heat. Uh, they should already be warm, so they'll only take a few seconds to heat through. Then your warm rice you, into one of the bowls. Should hopefully stay quite like that. And we've got our nice hot goulash. Again, uh, taste everything. Make sure that it's seasoned to your liking. Uh, I've left it quite purposely a little bit low on salt because different people like different amounts of salt. So the goulash into the other bowl. Spread around nicely. And then you've got your sweet potato curry. Then, if you 
Grab your, your things out the oven here. You've got your carrots. Cauliflower and your courgettes. So we get here because things are quite hot. Hot tray. So the cauliflower, you want to just pop it onto the cauliflower puree. So in the middle of it like so. Stuff courgettes onto the couscous. And then the carrots. Spread them out nicely. And then you've got your uh, your garnish pots here. So you've got your curry garnish. So in here we've got coriander, crispy chickpeas, crispy wild rice, sunflower seeds. So get that all over there like that. It adds a lot of texture to the curry. Otherwise everything's quite soft into it. You've got your goulash garnish, 4.1. So that's got crispy chickpeas, coriander seeds, and sunflower seeds again. Spread that all around, nice and even, easy, even, sorry. And again, that's just probably get a little differentiation of uh, crunching with the soft. Then you've got your carrot garnish, which is coriander seeds, chopped coriander, and crispy chickpeas. Then we want to go with the body dressing and you want to get a little bit of the dressing over everything there. The only one which I wouldn't, would probably not put the dressing onto is the, the curry. There you have it. Bring you from the back. That's our uh, vegetarian week one haughty at home meal. You've got uh, hummus and sourdough flatbreads, uh, tikka marinated carrots, cauliflower with caramelized cauliflower puree, stuffed courgettes, couscous, sweet potato curry and bean goulash and to finish we'll have a uh, vegan chocolate brownie.